Hello and welcome, I'm back with another tutorial. So a student asked me, how can you make an image to not be accidentally clicked in the background? Let's say that you are creating a slide and let's say that this is my background image. Normally, I would right click and I would send the image to back and then I would add the boxes. Let's say in this case, since this image is very dark, I would select white text. So I'm editing text, I want to move something and I accidentally click on the image over and over again. I want to move the box, then I click here. And how to make this layer on lockdown? Well, it isn't straightforward in PowerPoint, sadly. What we should have, we should have select, selection pane, and we should be able to right click and lock this layer down. However, we can't do it. We have a little solution, it's more of a workaround than a solution, and it has its ups and downs. We can set a layout, and this layout can have this image in the background. How to do this? The only thing you need to do is going to View, Slide Master, you can use the existing layout or delete a few and create a new one. I'll select Insert Layout, and here within the layout, deselect Title and Footers, and just place the image you want to use. Now this will be a hard-coded PowerPoint layout and if you have several images, let me select a new layout, delete everything, another image. Okay, this image should be bigger, new layout, insert layout, another image. Okay, so I would have three images prepared in my slide master in my layout. Now I would close master view and as I create new slides, I would right click layout and look what I have. I have layouts with those images in the background and the upside is they won't be bothering me again because I cannot click them. They are hard coded into the background and I'll never accidentally click on it. The downside here is that I cannot easily edit them. So if you wanted to edit those images, for example, making this image bigger or, or just adjust it, you would again need to go to view, to slide master, click the image here and change it. What you could do, you could duplicate this layout and prepare a few layouts, for example, with the same image. It doesn't matter, it doesn't cost you anything. You just close this master view and now, in the normal presentation, right clicking, clicking on layout, you will have several layouts with the same image. And depending on what you need, well, it's a bit annoying that it goes outside here, I should crop it, but that's how I did it. So this is a little workaround. How can you set images to the background to not be accidentally clicked? It's, it's a tip I kind of wanted to give because it's important to know that you can use Slide Master to basically hard code anything into the background. It isn't mandatory, but you can remember about this and you can use this while you are working in PowerPoint. I hope you did enjoy this little tip. Thank you very much for listening and see you in another tutorial.